Hi, my name is Devin. Today I'm going to show you how to create a screencast using Screenomatic.com. Um, I'm recording this video with Screener.com, which is just another screencasting website. Um, first step is to go to your internet, whether that be Safari for Macs or um, Windows Explorer for Windows, and you can go to your address bar and type in www.screenomatic.com. It's going to take you to the Screenomatic homepage. It's real simple to start recording a video, or a screencast I should say, and you just look in the upper right hand corner and you click start recording. And every now and then, when you come to this web page, you know, every day is, may ask you to update your Java or install your Java or, you know, because you need Java to do this. Okay, and for Mac users, you can actually download and install the app, which I think is really cool. Um, it's the same program, same buttons and everything. The only difference is you can use it offline as well. So let's go over some of these buttons. Um, first of all, you see this screen, this little box. This is your video screen. This is where your recording will take place. Um, these three lines right here, if you hold your mouse down, a left click, hold, you can drag the screen around if you want to record in this corner or just in this corner or in the middle of your screen. Um, this button is your start recording button. If you click it, you will start recording. This button is your microphone button. It's going to have built-in input. That's your plug-in microphone or a built-in microphone if a microphone is built into your computer. And an off button if you don't want to use a microphone. So we're going to use built-in microphone. And as you see as I'm talking, this little rectangle is filling up with green. And that's telling you that the microphone is receiving sound. This button is your microphone um, settings, and you can adjust the sound, or you can auto-adjust it, and you can test it, make sure it works. Um, yeah, this button is your size button. This you can adjust the size of your of what you want to record. Um, let's make it bigger. You see, and you can still drag it around. Um, but we'll use the 640 by 480 for today. Or to adjust your screen, you see these little boxes on the sides and the corners. You can just adjust it to your own needs. Um, to use the full screen option and you start recording, you won't see any of these buttons. And to pause your recording, you're going to have to click option P. So that way, you know, you can stop recording. Um, this button is your webcam button. You get the option of either using a webcam or not. Um, this button is your done recording. You cancel your recording and so forth. So let's go ahead and do a little recording real quick. It's going to take you three, two, one to prepare yourself and then it's going to start recording. And as I'm talking, you see this microphone and you see green come showing up and that's telling you that the microphone is receiving sound and therefore is recording sound. This is how long your video will, can last, this 15 minutes. And as I go along, this rectangle is going to fill up with red. And that's telling you how much of the recording I have done. Here's restarting. If you mess up, you can just click restart and restart your whole video. And done. Let's go ahead and done. We, we finish. And, and you can watch your video again and, and play it back and make sure, you know, talking, you see it's all one. good to go. You can either publish your video to Screenomatic.com if you have an account. The only bad thing is you can only have one video on, screen -o on your Screenomatic account at a time. Or you can publish it to YouTube, or you can publish it to your desktop. For today, we're going to publish to desktop. Um, you know, you can choose the video type, the size, add notes, caption, options. So we're going to go ahead and save the video. We're going to call it Why Video. Why not? Since I missed the, the M. <laughs> okay, and it's finished. And we're going to go ahead and click it down here. And we're going to watch it real quick. And see if it does. And then it's going to start recording. And as I'm talking, you see this microphone. And, and in the video, you know, it's, the mouse isn't up there. I'm sorry about that. But there's going to be a circle, a yellow circle around it. And that's easy to find your arrow. So that is how you use Screenomatic. Um, it's very simple, easy to use. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching.